Hello from Mill Petis, home of the FireEye Labs. Today we're going to be showing you a demo based on the presentation that uh, our researchers Tao Wei and Yu Long Zheng will be doing at Black Hat. This particular vulnerability is very interesting, not only because uh, its potential is very, very powerful, but in terms of how it works, it can affect uh, consumers and everyday people. But in this particular case, this vulnerability, which takes over uh, an Android phone, can it really impact VIPs. By that I mean executives, CEOs, potentially a celebrity, because essentially what the attacker can do is take full control over an Android phone. When I mean full control, they could take photos without the victim knowing. They can take a video without the victim knowing. They can send SMSs. They can also make a phone call uh, on the victim's phone. This particular vulnerability is not in Android itself, but rather it's in the ad systems that Android uses. In particular, it's a vulnerability within an ad library. And we're calling this a Sidewinder targeted attack. Today, we're gonna to be showing the demo using uh, this Galaxy S4 phone, which has Android 4.4.2. And if you look at the phone itself, you'll see that it is actually loaded with all of the latest phone AV applications, such as uh, Kaspersky uh, and many more. So with that, we're gonna actually launch into the demo and show you how this works. What I'm gonna do is start with the attacker view. We're gonna go through attacker and victim view, but first is the attacker view. So the first thing the attacker is going to do is they're going to subvert the traffic. This is a DNS vulnerability. So without going into all the details about how the DNS vulnerabilities work, because that's very well documented, uh, we're gonna just assume for the sake of argument that this has already taken place. So now you're going to shift the traffic from the ad server, but to the actual attack server. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to take a picture with the phone. So what we have here is the ability to take a picture. So we've added that. And then if we go to our phone, what you'll notice here is we have an application. This is a fake application that uh, looks like a, a very popular application. We launched this particular application right now. And you'll notice that once it launches, a fake message pops up. And of course, this could be whatever the attacker would like. But what this does is this activates and exploits that particular vulnerability. In this case, they're gonna actually take a photo, in this case, with the backside of their phone. So we're gonna take a picture of the computer right now. And if you'll notice right here, we click on this photo, and you get a very blurry picture of my computer screen. But what's interesting about this particular picture is that within the data of the file name, you'll see that there's the GPS coordinates. If we go to Google Maps, and we paste in those coordinates from the file, what it does is it shows our precise location in Milpitas here inside the lab's building. And as we zoom in, Google Maps tells us that in fact, we are, as you see right here, at the FireEye HQ. Next, we are gonna go back and perform another activity. So we're not gonna take a picture, but rather, we're going to record a video. I'm gonna skip over audio because with the video, you get both audio and video. So we'll do two birds with one stone. And now we go back to our application. We have to activate this capability with our fake message, which will pop up. There it is. And it is recording. And here we have the video uploaded from the victim's phone. And here we have a really bad video of my desk. But of course, if they're in a public location or somewhere else, or if they turned on, for example, the front camera, then the video could be a good bit more interesting. Next, we're gonna show the clipboard. And the clipboard is important because in Android, the clipboard is used 
to store passwords. So this is how credentials can get stolen. So in this case, I'm going to type in a password for the password keeper app. Log in. And now what we do is go back to our application. And what you'll notice is two things have appeared in the attacker's dashboard. First is the clipboard text, which will actually show the password that I just entered. But also, we have a full catalog of all the applications that appear on the target's phone. This, of course, is important because it helps the attacker to know what applications they have. And of course, they can't necessarily match which password works for which one, but at least they have a list to work with. So it's greatly simplified the process of harvesting credentials and putting them to work. Next, we're going to show how to send an SMS through the victim's phone. In this case, of course, if somebody receives an SMS from a VIP, from a CEO or somebody like that, they're very likely to click on it. So this is a very compelling thing for an attacker to want to do. So we set up the functionality here where they send the SMS, they input the fake message, and what we're going to do is put in the phone number for our test phone here in the labs. And now, if we go to our victim's phone, they launch their application, and we see the fake message appears here as a text message. So next, what we'll do is we'll make a phone call. It's important for an attacker to have the ability to make phone calls because let's say the VIP's phone number may not be listed. They could actually perhaps call some premium numbers to, to make some money and certain phone numbers charge the phone that's dialing them a large amount of money per minute. So in this case, we can actually perform the attack by simply inputting the phone number and go back to our susceptible application and we notice that it is actually making a phone call. So with that, you can see exactly how this particular vulnerability works by exploiting the ad libraries. Again, this is not an actual vulnerability within Android itself, but it is uh, related to the Android ecosystem. So thank you for watching our video, and we look forward to seeing you at Black Hat.